and shares our pump simulator, the instructors panel, which I'm going to set up certain problems for our student, Gil Soto, who will be operating the pump panel today. Over here, what we're going to simply do is take one of these lines, which will act as a hose line. What we're going to do is we'll set up this first one from the cross lake discharge. These bottom connections are like our discharges. It's a cross lake front, which means it's a pre connect. Set it up for, let's say, a standard of inch and three quarter hose, 200 feet. From there, I'll run it over to an elevation problem, in which from here I'll dial in anywhere from 30 to 120 feet. In this particular situation, I'll call for 30 feet. From there, we'll run over to a fog nozzle, set at 125 gallons per minute. We'll have the nozzle closed. I'll now give Gil Soto a throttle light, as shown over here, which indicates that he can go into pump. And we'll now start, have him start this operation. 3A12, this is 12 Alpha. Please charge your pre-connect. Correct. He now opens his tank to pump. He got water from his tank. And throttles up his RPMs. See if he can get some pressure. He still doesn't have a prime, so from there he will try to prime his truck. The prime still isn't working, so he checks to see what is wrong. He looks down, he can see that his master gauge, master drain has been left open. He shuts his master drain, and shortly he should see an increase in his pump pressure. It just happened. Now he throttles up to the pressure that he wants. 20. Okay. Then he opens up his free connect for whatever line he wants charged. On that, I can now open and close the discharges. With the open discharge, I can now switch over to see what the pump pressure is at the uh, nozzle as shown by this gauge here and tell him whether he's made his friction loss and elevation calculations properly. A fog nozzle operates best at about 100 psi for most fog nozzles. As you can see here we're about 240 psi so he's about 40 pounds high. So again you can try lowering your pressure 40 pounds. Getting his valve would be one way to bring it down. But since he only has one line out, the best way would probably be to open that valve up and then throttle down with the engine, bringing down his master pressure to 160 pounds or so. There you go. It's coming down. Keep going. All right, that's about right. And as we can see here, on my side, the nozzle pressure is correct. If I was to suddenly change that elevation problem we had previously from 30 feet to 60 feet, you should get about a 15 pound decrease. Maybe difficult to see, but there has been a decrease. And now we will have to increase his pressure 15 pounds to make up for that extra 30 extra 30 feet of head loss we have 